gimbal heads, a wildlife photographer's best friend and the perfect lightweight solution to stabilizing your long telephoto lenses. In this video, we'll be discussing how to get started using gimbal heads, from how to balance them to getting out in the field and getting those tack sharp photos. Let's get started. Gimbal heads offer one of the best ways to keep your camera and lens stable and offset that heavy weight. They're also much more reactive than some of their tripod head counterparts, making them necessary for photographers who need that sleight of hand. Photo gimbal heads like the one I have right here are often confused with video gimbals, which is probably what first comes to mind when you think of gimbals. And there are countless gimbals on the market, but today I'm gonna to be using the Wimberly WH200. It has a archetype mounting plate, which is perfect for my archetype foot replacement on my Sony 200 to 600. But keep in mind, there are PL mounting options as well. Let's talk about how to balance your gimbal head. Once you get your gimbal head, you're going to find that it's going to be all over the place when you throw your camera on there. Now this is a really well-balanced gimbal because I know how to balance it well. And a well-balanced gimbal, when you place your camera in any direction, it'll just stay in that spot. So that's a good indication that your camera is well balanced and well stabilized. Now, when you first get it, this axis will probably be a little bit lower. And obviously it doesn't come with the camera, so this won't be on it. And let's go ahead and place it on. Awesome. If I have it further back, it's going to swing back. So we'll move it forward. Tighten this down for now. And most people just end up balancing this one axis, but you have to make sure to balance this one as well. So our best bet is to pull this back a little bit. And then for this axis right here, we want to make sure that this is centered with the center of the lens. So we're going to raise it and that's a good starting point, but we'll have to adjust it from there. And we're gonna raise this axis a little bit more. It's a game of millimeters here. So I noticed that it's staying on this side, so we're gonna move forward just slightly on this plate here. And that's perfect. So you want to just go up and down millimeter by millimeter. A good starting point, like I said, is having this axis right here in the center of the lens, and you'll know it's balanced when you can leave it in any position without having any of the knobs tightened. This is great because if I'm photographing, let's say a bird, I know that I could just follow them with ease and leave the camera as it is. Let's go take a look at some real world scenarios using a photo gimbal head. So the benefit of having the gimbal head is just how reactive it is. This bird just picked up and flew away and I was able to move with so much ease. I can also shoot video with it being that it is a fluid head as well and get some really smooth panning shots. It's also great having a telephoto lens with the adjustable collar on here because I could switch to vertical mode with ease. We're on the seacoast of New England right now, which is perfect for bird photography, but keep in mind that gimbal heads are fantastic at photographing a wide variety of wildlife, whether it be bears or even moose. It's awesome at getting tack sharp photos in a smooth way, and it's much easier to track wildlife. Let's say I'm tracking a bird that's straight ahead from me, but I see one at the corner of my eye, and I have to turn quickly the panning and tilting motion is just so fluid and quick that I know I'm gonna get my shot. I hope this video helped you to better understand the many benefits of using a gimbal head on your photography excursions. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and let us know which wildlife you'll be photographing first using a gimbal head. My name is Matt and thanks for watching.
No way. Oh, I think it's a rock. <laughs> yeah, it's a rock. 